Isn't the amusement park the best? Yeah, it's got rides, snacks, and my favorite, strength tester. <laughs> now that's a real strength tester. Mr. Snuggles McGee! <sighs> We have to win that gorilla, even if it takes all day. But I wanted to do the rides. And do the bumper cars. That's what we're here for, not some dusty old stuffed animal. Some dusty old stuffed animal? How dare you say that about Mr. Snuggles McGee, my first ever best friend. You see, he was a gift from Grandma. Mr. Snuggles McGee and I did everything together. We had high tea. Epic staring contests. He always won. Ah, nuts! And we totally shredded the half pipe. We were inseparable. Then the unthinkable happened. Mr. Snuggles McGee! <laughs> Time to get my best friend back. Hi, how much do you want for Mr. Snuggles McGee? <laughs> Mr. Snuggles McGee? <laughs> His name is Chester. He's the carnival's mascot and he's not for sale, though he is cuddly. Oh, not the monkey, the gorilla. Oh, him, also not for sale. You need to win three tokens. You can win one token from each of the carnival games. The ring toss, the tin cans, and the balloon pop. Win all three and the gorilla's yours. Otherwise, you get this. We better win all three games then. Let's go! I can win the ring toss. It's all about geometry, my specialty. Lila, I'll take the tin cans. My pitching arm is in great shape now, thanks to Kerpow. Great, and I'm on the balloon pop. First, I have to find the angle's vertex, then account for wind effects and gravitational force, and voila! The perfect trajectory. <laughs> What? Did they change Newton's three laws of motion and not tell me? Psst, scientists, those tricksters. Good luck. Thanks, but I don't need luck. I've got high heat. <laughs> That's a ball. Gah! It all comes down to this, folks. And here's the fish. <laughs> Your finest darts, please. This is for Mr. Snuggles McGee. <gasps> what? That's not possible. Uh, that always happens, but rules are rules. You have to pop all the balloons to win. Sorry, kid. The games are rigged! <gasps> My game's rigged? <sighs> well, I never. But we couldn't win any of them, so they must be rigged. We carnival folk take ethics very seriously. When I got into this business, I vowed on the sacred golden whack a mallet to never cheat. And if the Carnival Board of Ethics thought we were rigging games, <laughs> they'd shut us down. So, rather than flinging around baseless accusations, I suggest you keep trying. Something smells fishy here. You mean my pickled herring nutrition shake? Yes, Lila, but also the games are definitely rigged. Let's take a closer look. Whoa! It appears the bottles are coated in a slippery substance. Let's see. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Careful, don't touch it! Mmm, banana pudding. What? You said don't touch it, not don't eat it. We're going to send this picture to the Carnival Board of Ethics. Save some of the evidence. Mmm, -hmm, that is good stuff. My Kerpel moves will take this down. Bye! What? Something's holding them up. And that something's bamboo? And that's something's our evidence. 
These balloons won't pop. That's nuts. Coconuts! I'd know the scent of coconut body spray anywhere. Yep, 100% coconut. The games are rigged and we have plenty of evidence. Once we blow this case open, Mr. Snuggles McGee will be mine. Go big! To the Carnival Board of Ethics. Hey! <laughs> Chester took your phone! We have to catch him! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Tiny power! So smart, are you now, Chester? What's the cloud? I just don't understand why a monkey would rig the games. Understood him? Not a word, but I know that look. Mr. Stuggles McGee is his best friend, and he didn't want anybody to win him, so he rigged the games. I have a plan to help, but you have to unrig the games. Deal? One Mr. Snuggles McGee, please. Who? I mean the gorilla. Oh, great golden welcome, Alice. You actually won. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. I missed you, but I think you're needed here with your new best friend. <laughs> Hi, you can't give a prize to my monkey. <laughs> Actually, according to page 638 of the Carnival Code of Ethics, if a prize winner gives a prize to the pet of any Carnival employee, the pet retains full ownership of said prize, and the employee must never, ever take the prize away. 
<laughs> and must give the pet nightly foot massages. Huh. I must have forgotten about that rule. Well, I'm an honest carnival man. He's all yours, Chester. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a grip. Have you ever thought about doing kerpow? You blinked. Yes! I finally won! Hmm. Nothing like the great outdoors, huh, girls? <sighs> uh, girls? Down here, Grandma. Polly? The great outdoors is, well, great, but massaging recliners are incredible. It's like being in a super relaxing rocket launch. And we can operate it on our phones. This isn't girls' fancy weekend glamping in the woods. It's girls' weekend camping in the woods. Time to get some fresh mountain air. We are getting that. My air scentifier is pumping the pine. It also has a maple bacon hot dog setting that smells like biting into a real maple bacon hot dog. What about biting into a real hot dog? This isn't really camping. What's real camping then? According to the camper's companion, a camper is no camper at all unless they can spark a fire in a fire safe zone. Does your camper have a setting for sparking a campfire like that? No, but if I can build this camper, I'm sure I can start a fire. Come on, Shawnee. <laughs> okay. Go big. Let me see that. Easy. Why don't you relax in the camper and we'll have a fire going in no time. Relax while camping? Well, I... Mmm. <laughs> that maple bacon hot dog scent does smell pretty scrumptious. Okay. Tiny power me, Polly. Grandma? Tiny power! <sighs> Yum. Better turn it up to turbo. <laughs> it's basically impossible to start a fire with just twigs. Could we just use my travel-sized Bunsen burner? Nope. When building a campfire that's safer, the answer should always come from nature. Oh, these sticks are unsparkable. Let's go find some better ones. Earl, where'd you put the garlic ribs I had marinating? Who took my candy cauliflower? Yeah, my hot dog buns are missing. My artisanal small batch mustard is gone. Gone! Wow, people at this campground sure have a hard time keeping track of their food. At least we know Grandma P is always prepared. I'm sure she brought enough food to go around. Wow! This massage chair is no joke! It appears I've been taken by a bear. Huh. All right, Grandma. We're gonna build the best fire. Grandma? Bear! Bear! Wait! Don't take my grandma! Where'd he go? I don't know, but wherever he went, he took my camper. And my grandma. Oh, I can find him with my camper tracker. It's in my backpack. In the camper. Huh. Maybe grandma's book on camping will tell us what to do. Good thinking, Shawnee. It says here we should look for the bear's tracks. There! Huh? Those weren't bear tracks. It's just Bigfoot. Well, people are usually more excited to see me. Have I lost my touch? Is the world too big for Bigfoot? 
sorry to interrupt your self-reflection, Mr. Foot, but have you seen a bear with a tiny camper? Oh, yeah, that guy, he went down that trail. Thank you, Mr. Foot. For the record, I always believed in you. <laughs> and just like that, I'm back in the game. Oh, no! How are we gonna cross? Use a floating vessel such as a canoe, paddleboard, or pontoon. Where are we supposed to find one of those? Huh. They're all around you if you're small enough. Tiny power! It says, climb a tree to survey the landscape. Hello, marvelous Mrs. Maple. <sighs> really tall tree. You've got this, Shawnee. Right, for Grandma. Yeah, hashtag Team Grandma. Go big! <clears throat> I got you. no matter how scared you are. Bears don't scare me. Rah! Um, how about... <clears throat> Rah! I think it might work better if we were, you know, big. Oh, right. Go big! <laughs> Rah! Get away, bear! <laughs> I'm gonna go right up to that bear, that really, really real bear, and scare him right out of here. Yep, that's what I have to do. Ah! I'm a big, scary monster! And I'm gonna do uh, what scary monsters do! What do scary monsters do? Intimidate bears! That's right! Ah! I'm terrified! Great work, Shawnee! Come on, Grandma, before the bear sees. Let's get up and go! What took you so long? Don't tell me Bigfoot led you off course. Wait, you know Mr. Foot? Roar! <laughs> nice bear. Tiny power! <laughs> Hide! <laughs> Polly, we should go while he's distracted. But... <laughs> Wait! He's hurt! <laughs> I think there's a splinter of the kayak stuck in his gums. That can't feel good. Uh, anything in this book about emergency bear dentistry, Grandma? <sighs> I wish I could say there was. <laughs> Poor bear. We have to help him. I have a plan. Tiny power! Wee, you've been really ripping into those garlic ribs. I got you, bear buddy. <laughs> I hope Polly's okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah! Go big. Uh, Glad you're ooh. back, Polly, but ooh, I know 
getting back to nature means no showers, but ugh, you could use one. Oh, I have one in the camper. <laughs> or I had one. Guess I won't be using that camper again. <gasps> You... you're giving me back my camper? I think he wants to say thank you, Polly. Whoa. Did this book teach you how to speak bear? Nah. Some things about nature you just feel. You're welcome, bear. Anytime. Sure, that maple bacon hot dog smell was something, but nothing beats the real stuff. Mm. <sighs> This is what I love about camping. The crisp air, the sky above, the... <gasps> Polly! That wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> I think our little bear friend had a good feast. <laughs> I'll say, I can almost smell his belch all the way from here. Ooh. Or maybe I missed a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems highly likely, given the day and the placement of the package, that this is for me. Go big! <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Come on, we're taking you to the Sweetie TV's candy factory for the Science of Candy Making Tour. Oh, I love science and candy. We're really going to the place where they invented the most regal candy of all time? Queen Worm. Remember the first time we had one? <laughs> Go introduce yourself, Shawnee. Try sharing this queen worm candy. Hi, I'm Shawnee. Do you like candy? Mmm. I'm Polly, and this is Lila. Want to be our new best friend? Hello. I'm here too, you know. <laughs> I'm excited for the Sweetie Teethy science tour, but I really do wish I could dig up one more queen worm. Queen worm sounds royally gross. Why haven't I heard of it? Seriously? You don't remember the commercial? On a throne of pretzels, caramel, and chocolate, one gummy worm rules all. Queen worm. Pitchy and doesn't ring a bell. Well, they stopped making them a long time ago. Less talking about candy, more getting to candy. A popular candy canceled? Hmm. Aha! I knew it! The queen worm candy is at the center of the Littleton candy conspiracy. Some believe that the queen worm was so good it had to be stopped. Others say all the queen worm candy was taken by a secret organization. Still, others believe that the queen worm is the primary food for a race of lizard aliens. Oh, there's the tour guide. What? There are no tour guides and conspiracy theories. At oh. Hello, can you tell me about the queen worm conspiracy? Uh, what queen worm conspiracy? That's exactly what someone trying to hide a conspiracy would say. I know it hasn't been sold for a while, but is there any way we can get a queen worm candy on the tour? Any at all? No, they're all gone. Oh, for reals? Is that because lizard people ate them all? Hmm? Uh. Uh, greetings. Let's begin our scientific explanation of candy. Yes! It's my birthday and I'm ready for science. Oh, birthday girl, huh? Here you go, birthday girl. <clears throat> this is where the magic happens. Our high-tech factory floor is fully automated, no people allowed. To ensure no contamination of the candy, if a person is detected, robotic security is alerted. Now, single file to the lecture hall. No one told me there would be a lecture! Best birthday ever! The secret to making delicious candy is science. First, let's examine the melting point of chocolate. Chocolate typically melts around... When we pass the candy factory floor, yes, what did you see? Our chance at fun slipping away? No. A pretzel twister 
caramel, chocolate. <gasps> All the things we'd need to build our own queen worm. We have to sneak in there to make Shawnee her favorite candy for her birthday. And uncover undeniable evidence of conspiracy? Let's do it! Isn't this amazing? Totally. But I need to go, uh, go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, me too. And I also have uh, to use... Sounds good. See ya. Tiny power! Remember, there's automatic sensors and robotic security all over the factory. We have to stay tiny. First thing we need is twisty pretzels for the throne. I spy a salty, crunchy treat on that conveyor belt. Come on! <laughs> now we're rolling in dough. Ew, these pretzels haven't been cooked yet. Or twisted. They're about to be, and so are we! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Only way out is through. Okay, popping candy is made by exposing hot candy to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Carbon dioxide trapping gas inside the candy. Yeah, right again, birthday girl. <laughs> I'm too young to be cooked. Lila! Holly! Nick! Time! Hurry! You saved us! Huh. Nick just gave me this weird feeling in my chest. Gratitude? <coughs> no, wait. Ugh. It was just a gas bubble. These will work for the green worm throne. <coughs> now we need the next ingredient. Caramel! Down there! Let's go! Woohoo! Ooh, should we go with more of a Rococo style or modern minimalism? Function over form, Lila. I'll hold the seat. You two hold the sides. Here it comes! <laughs> we made it! On to step three, chocolate! Oh. <laughs> oh, this totally bites! Nick, of course you're a genius! <laughs> Holy! Oh, no. <laughs> Now, how do we get to the chocolate? Oh, wow. There's the bat! Grab some liquors for rope, and we'll dip the throne. Careful! Fall into the vat of boiling chocolate, and you'll be a literal hot mess. That's a check for chocolate coating. Let's pull it back up. A little help! <laughs> Lila, do you see what I see? Gummy worms! Think we can swing it? Nick, hold tight. You're going for a ride. <laughs> worms? Ah, I knew I was right. Wormtastic! Wow. You just put baking soda soaked worms into vinegar for this experiment. Excellent. All hail Queen Worm. Now all we have to do is just get this delicious diva to Shawnee. If that's where the candy gets out, that's where we get out. <laughs> Body control scan initiated. Human contamination detected. You shall not pass. Trying to keep their secrets safe? 
Conspiracy confirmed. <laughs> Must destroy unauthorized candy. <laughs> about that now. We have to get back to Shawnee before she notices we're gone. Go big! Here's a free sample of our newest candy. Oh, the fun. gooey, chewy, kablooey. Yes. Shawnee! Wasn't that amazing when we made the worms dance and experiment with the poppy candy and the giant... Uh, Shawnee, we haven't... Yep, what a great science tour. I just wish we could have found a way to get you a queen worm candy for old time's sake. It's okay, Polly. It wasn't really about the candy. It was about the memory. And now we have this. The gooey, chewy, kablooey? A new candy to mark new memories, new friends, and a new birthday for the world's sweetest birthday girl. Mm. Hmm. It's no queen worm, but it's tasty in a different way. A good candy to mark the best friends and best birthday a girl could have. Mm. This is nice. I guess I should have just enjoyed the candy instead of worrying about... Lizard person alert! Conspiracy confirmed. Queen! 